procedure. Okay, let us see the problem now. So, using Gram Smith orthogonalization procedure, find the orthonormal set of basis functions to represent the three signals here. They have given three signals that is S1 of t, S2 of t, and S3 of t shown in this figure. Express each of these signal in terms of the set of basis functions. Okay, so this is the question. So here we have three signals here. Okay. So here the according to the signals here, what are now the amplitudes and limits given here? Let us see. First limit they have given it from 0 to 1. So from 0 to 1, the amplitude that is the height is height of S1 of T, the value is equal to 2 here. Okay. And for second signal, the answer, uh, value is minus 4 and the limits are from 0 to 2. And for third signal, the limits are from 0 to 3 and the amplitude is equal to 3. Okay. So these are the three signal graphs mentioned here. So now let us find the orthonormal set of basis functions for each of these graphs. Okay. So according to that first step is what? We should be finding the first orthonormal basis function that is given by phi1 of t is equal to s1 of t divided by square root of e1 for the limits from 0 to 1. Right. So for that we should be finding first, we should be finding the value of e1. So find that first e1. So e1 is equal to integration from 0 to t s1 square of t dt. So here now the value of s1 square is here in the first graph. The amplitude I have told you right it is 2. So substitute that and the limits are from 0 to 1. So integration from 0 to 1 2 square dt. So 2 square is 4 uh, 4 dt and uh, if you integrate with respect to dt the integration of dt is t only. So t you should be uh, doing the upper limit and lower limit part. So 1 minus 0 is 1. So 4 into 1 is 4. So that's why you would be getting our answer for e1 as e1 is equal to 4 okay and the limit from 0 to 1. So now like this we got the value of e1 so we should be substituting back in this equation of phi1 of t okay. So put that that is phi1 of t is equal to s1 of t divided by root e1 that is 2 divided by root 4. So root 4 is 2 only so 2 by 2 2 2 gets cancelled down and our final value of phi1 of t that is equal to 1 okay. So now draw the graph for that. So here the amplitude is 1 right for we draw the graph for the basis function here. So the interval is from 0 to 1 I have mentioned it here from 0 to 1 the amplitude is 1 okay. So this is the first graph. Similarly find the second uh, uh, basis function that is phi 2 of t. So phi 2 of t formula is given by phi 2 of t is equal to g2 of t divided by square root of integration from 0 to t g2 square of t dt. And here now the limits are from 1 to 2, okay. Because in the second graph, they have mentioned the interval from 0 to 2, right. So, but 0 to 1 part only, we already we have covered it in this first signal. So, now we are left with the 1 to 2. So, that's why here the limits we are considering it from 1 to 2, okay. So, new variable g2 of t is introduced. So, which will be independent of phi1 of t. So, that's why this is called as the intermediate function. So, the, therefore, the time interval will be from 1 to 2, okay. So, according to the intermediate function formula, we would be getting g2 of t is equal to g2 of t is equal to s2 of t minus s21 into phi1 of t. Limits are from 1 to 2. So, in, in this term, we have uh, s2 of t already, phi1 of t also, we have found it that is equal to 1. So, we need to be finding the value of s21, okay. So, s21, it is given by integration from 0 to t, s2 of t minus phi1 of t dt. Okay, so S2 of t, the amplitude here is minus 4, right, in the second signal. So that it should be substituting here back. So that is integration from 0 to 1 minus 4 into 1. The phi 1 of t value is 1. So integ uh, integrate it and we'll be getting our value of S21 that is equal to minus 4. So now put this back in the equation of g2 of t, okay. So here s2 of t is equal to minus 4 according to the graph minus s21. What is s21? Again it is minus 4 and phi1 of t is equal to 0, okay. So after simplifying this what we would be getting the answer as g2 of t again we would be getting equal to minus 4. So again this g2 of t we have got now substitute back in this uh, second uh, orthonormal basis function equation phi2 of t that is equal to g2 of t that is minus 4 divided by 
uh, square root of limits now from 0 to t that is equal to uh, integration from 1 to 2 since you have introduced the new intermediate function so that's why the limits are from 1 to 2 g2 square of t so the value of g2 square is minus 4 the whole square that is equal to 16 right so 16 dt you do the integration here again you would be getting the answer as 4 only so 4 4 gets cancelled so our final answer of phi 2 of t would be equal to minus 1 okay and the limits are from 1 to 2 so that's why here the graph you could see here the amplitude is now shifted to minus 1 with the limits from 1 to 2 okay so this is the graph here for phi 2 of t so similarly find the next uh, intermediate function that is phi 3 of t phi 3 of t so phi 3 of t is given by g3 of t divided by square root of integration from 0 to t g3 square of t dt so again uh, g3 of t formula you write it that is g3 of t is equal to s3 of t minus s3 1 phi 2 of t minus s3 2 phi 2 of t and now the limits are changed from 2 to 3 okay because from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 we have done using the first two signals so now we have left with the final interval that is from 2 to 3 okay so now find the values of s31 and s32 so s31 is equal to integration from 0 to t s3 of t into phi1 of t dt the limits are from 0 to 1 okay for s31 it is from 0 to 1 and for s32 it is from 1 to 2 okay do the substitution and we would be getting the value of s31 as 3 and s32 as minus 3 okay so put Put back in this equation here after solving it we would be getting the answer of g3 of t is equal to 3 with the limits from 2 to 3 so put this in the final uh, intermediate equation that is phi 3 of t that is equal to g3 of t divided by square root of you know, integration from 0 to t g3 square of t dt and the limits here are from 2 to 3 substitute that and g3 of t we have got it as 3 here so 3 square is 9 so 9 dt uh, with the limits from 2 to 3 you would do the integration here after doing integration you would be getting the answer is 9 itself okay that square root of 9 is 3 only so 3 by 3 you cancel it out and answer we would be getting it as phi 3 of t would be equal to 1 okay so this is the final graph of the third uh, basis function orthonormal basis function with the limits from 2 to 3 and the amplitude is equal to 1 okay